What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and today we're in Avondale, Chicago. What, what? <laughs> This might be a controversial opinion, but coffee first thing in the morning is amazing. And our first stop in Avondale had to be at Dark Matter. Whatever it's called, it's an Adobe house, Adobe hut, right? I don't know what that is. It's like Adobe something. This is the Chocolate City on draft. Cheers. This right here is the agave latte, with oat milk, of course. Prime Nerissa's agave latte with oat milk. That's oatmeal milk. Oaty. Dark matter, does it like Pretty much nobody else in Chicago. It is our favorite coffee. And even though it's windy and raining this morning in Avondale, we still can enjoy our drinks. Chocolate City on draft. We usually get it in a can. So to get it on draft is highly remarkable. What a way to start any day in Chicago with the best coffee in the world at Dark Matter. There aren't too many word duos in the English language that pack a punch quite like fried chicken. And that's why we had to come to Honey Butter Fried Chicken in Avondale this afternoon. This is the type of restaurant that already lets you know what you're gonna order before you step foot inside. Honey butter and fried chicken. Thankfully, they throw it all together in a beautiful sandwich with a farm fresh egg. We got the honey butter fried chicken sandwich. There's honey butter in here, fried chicken strips, a farm fresh egg, all on a nice bun. Um, we also got the mini meal. This is fried chicken strips. We got a side of mac and cheese, a side of potatoes, a corn muffin, and ranch. We've heard so much. The legend of honey butter fried chicken stretches far and wide, and by far and wide, I mean websites like Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> where people really talk about this type of stuff. And I love fried chicken in all its formats. We're gonna assemble this beautiful chicken sandwich. Whoop. Kinda reminds me of Au Cheval with that farm fresh egg. Wish me luck, y'all. This is a big boy sandwich. Cheers. With that honey butter, it's like a nice brunch sandwich, crispy fried chicken, and the egg. Wow, it's good. It's a whole meal inside this bread. There's a little bee on the corn muffins. So cute. Yeah. Shaped like a honeycomb. So cute. It's a very unique fried chicken sandwich, unlike anything I've ever had, and I really, really like the sweetness of that honey butter. Try some of this mac and cheese. Ooh. Mmm. Got a little spice to it. Mmm, like a smokiness. Oh, it was a pimento mac and cheese, that's what it was. Not pimento from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but pimento like the pepper. We also got some smash potatoes. Mmm. Nice and creamy with a good gravy on top. You know I like my gravies. Finally, we got that corn muffin and the fried chicken. I guess I'll dip it in the ranch sauce. Mm. Cheers. 
Now that's what you call fried chicken. It was an excellent dining experience. I really love that the portions are manageable. I'd rather have a little bit less food that's much higher quality than vice versa. All in all, I have to give it a great recommendation. I would definitely return as would Narissa. She liked the food as well. We split everything like we do and it was a really good lunch or brunch, I guess. Anyway, it's right at the corner of Elston and Roscoe for all you GPS nerds out there. Stop asking me for the addresses. You got Google, use it. It's been quite a number of years since I skipped the stone down the street. That's how we like to call bowling down in South Florida. That's why we had to come to Avondale Bowl to get our bowl on, as they also say. You know, we do love to eat at local restaurants and stuff our faces, but we also like to do fun activities, right? Nothing could be more fun on a day like today than Avondale Bowl, a vintage bowling alley with eight lanes. You have to make reservations in advance. You can't just walk in and expect to get yourself a lane. And they would supply the bowling balls and shoes. Talk about a great deal. All right, here I go. <laughs> Pretty good! <laughs> That's so cool! Typically with some of the newer bowling alleys, you wouldn't get to see how the ball comes back. This is neat! Alright, I'm going to try this technique I learned on YouTube last night. So what we've got here is a one, three, nine pin all in the wrist, that technique. You want to give that ball a little bit of spin. I'll demonstrate. Works every time. Well, I'm not a professional bowler like Lewis was in high school, but I promised him I would try even with these nails. Gus Donation, drop some bowling emojis down in the comments. The old cannon's out of smoke. There's something about bowling that just seems to bring the kids out of people. From the screaming, to the shouting, to the slaps. long been on our list of things to do here in the great city of Chicago so that's why we had to come out today you know just to knock down a pin or two. Avondale Bowl is so much fun it gets my rare non-restaurant five diamond award. I bet you if you go up and down your subscription list, you're not gonna find too many YouTubers who go out of their way to visit beautiful churches like we do. That brings us to St. Hyacinth here in the heart of Avondale, a Polish cathedral, one of only a few basilicas in the city of Chicago. OG Gusto heads will remember when we went to Bridgeport, we tried to go to St. Mary of Perpetual Help. Unfortunately, they were closed. So that's why we were elated, filled with such joy and jubilation when we saw that the side entrance to St. Hyacinth was open.
there's just something about magnificent structures, houses of worship like this that just hit me right here, right, right in the fields, as they say on the internet. What I really loved about St. Hyacinth is not just the beautiful dome, the stained glass, the murals, the opulence, but there was actually an organist throwing down on the keys as we prayed for more subscribers. I'm just kidding, we wouldn't pray for more subscribers because we already know that's on the way. Truly is magnificent. Don't let my vaguely sarcastic tone deter from the great beauty of this moment. I really appreciate visiting churches like this. Ever since I was a little kid and visited the Vatican and the Pope said to me, go on my son and become a great YouTuber, I knew it was my destiny to visit beautiful churches all over the world and put them on this channel. So what I say to you is blessings and keep watching. How you doing out there in YouTube land? I hope you're enjoying this tour of Avondale. It's on the uh, northwest side of Chicago, about uh, two, three miles from downtown, roughly bordered by the Chicago River, the Aversi, and uh, I forgot the other borders, but uh, you could take the blue line, get off at Addison, or uh, Belmont. You know, there's lots of things to do in this neighborhood. Known for being a place of uh, international folks. Uh, you got everything from Polish to uh, Latin American. What we're gonna do now is uh, walk down Milwaukee, maybe look for some Polish sausage and a uh, couple of beers. But what you gotta do is uh, hit that like button. Since we're in Avondale, we had to pay a visit to one of the most unique stores, not just in the neighborhood, but the entire city of Chicago, and that's Bric-a-Brac Records. What can I say about this store? It's basically part museum and part shop. Pretty much everything you see in here is for sale, from records to action figures to VHS cassettes. And pretty much any pop culture property you can think of from the last several decades is in here. You got Universal Monsters, Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, Pee Wee's Playhouse, X-Men, He-Man, Ninja Turtles. I mean, really the list goes on and on. I even have a Simpsons arcade machine in the back. This store is gonna pretty much hit every nostalgia button there is in the world. It's so much fun and definitely a spot you should check out, especially if you wanna bolster that action figure collection. You're looking for that rare Charles Xavier one of one figure from 1992? You're probably gonna find it here. Check it out. This is the original motion picture score from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film of the 90s. On vinyl with original artwork by Turtle creator Kevin Eastman. This is incredible. This has all my favorite songs from the score of the movie. Like when Raphael got in trouble, that was pretty sad. So now I can bring home the vinyl, pop it in my record player, and get all those feels of turtle power. Good evening from a horror-themed coffee shop named The Brood Coffee. Today I have scared myself up a chilling cold brew. Ha ha ha. This is literally right next to Bric-a-Brac Records. Another fun spot to come in Avondale. Highly recommend this place. They've got coffee, donuts, sandwiches, pastries and lots of horror-themed memorabilia, including movies that you can purchase and bring home, you know, snuggle up, get a little scared with a bowl of popcorn. Cheers. When Lewis and I first met, I didn't want him to think that I was weird, so I had to hide all of my scary movies. I had to say goodbye to Jason, Dracula, Frankenstein, Nightmare on Elm Street, but here at The Brood Coffee, I can be who I am. I don't have to hide it anymore, and Lewis and I can have fun hanging out with all the weird characters. Welcome to my world, all the money, not a bunch of 
보고 모든 것이 바꾸죠 해가 뜨고 눈을 감아 엎어버린 사이코 같은 패턴의 눈이 돌아 몇년 동안 You say you're looking for a Korean grocery store in Chicago. Look no further than Jongbu Market here in Avondale. Not only is it an amazing grocery store with things like frozen udon noodles, bottled tea, but they also have a snack corner. It's kind of hidden. You got to look for it in the back. We came back to get the bulgogi, otherwise known as bulgogi. We got our beautiful bulgogi, white rice, our banchan, and a little bit of soup here. We actually have something to do. Uh, that's scheduled, so we have to eat this beef really fast. So, cheers. Mm. Remember, this one's a little bit hidden, but if you know, you know. Go to the back of the store, and you got about 33 things on the menu. So, make sure you order to your heart's content. Mmm, look at this delicious banchan. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're about to go on a tour of Revolution Brewing. Let's go get some beer. Cerveza, birra, brewski, chugs. In my book, there are three B's to a successful day. That's bowling, bulgogi, and beers. That's why we had to come to Revolution Brewing. We just got finished taking the tour of the brewery. It was an amazing tour. You get a couple of free beers on the way. You get to learn about the whole process, the yeast, the fermentation. And Revolution Brewery is one of the biggest craft brewers, not just in Illinois, not just in the United States, but in the entire world. Seriously, look it up. There are barrels on barrels on barrels, and we're just enjoying a couple of beers. I got myself the Death by Current. It's a 14% alcohol by volume. That's why it's a little tiny glass. We don't drink that, you know, big macro produced stuff. We drink the good stuff. A little taste, a little sum sum. So cheers. Revolution is one of our favorite breweries in, in the whole world. When we're in New York, it's one of the things that we miss most about Chicago. Huge shout out to Zach who made us feel right at home at Revolution Brewery. We love all their beers from Fist City to Anti-Hero to all the sours, freedom of speech. If you love craft beer, you have to come to Revolution Brewery. Trust me. It's not, it's not a, oh, well, maybe I'll get to it if I have time, Lewis. No, 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 no. If you're coming to Chicago, you're visiting, you better come to Revolution Brewery. Tell them that Louis Gusto sent you. They might hook you up with a free shot of an IPA, you never know. We got some swag for Rowdy. I got a nice t-shirt. Obviously, they get my Five Diamond Award. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Avondale, Chicago. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.